most people think of Asian Americans as having a, uh, a tremendous success rate. And in fact, the model uh, Asian American image uh, hurts us because we don't get the help that we need because people, they, they say that we don't need the help and the, the need for Asian American children and families is to get an equal footing. One in four Asian children live below poverty. For seniors, it's 24 percent, so the poverty is real. The stereotype that we face, it's um, every day. Where do you come from? Brooklyn. We are the assumed perpetual foreigner. The Asian American Federation of New York is a membership organization. We have sort of a three-pronged mission. Uh, one is to really encourage philanthropy in the Asian American community. Two is to provide um, technical support to our organization members. And we also do research for the purpose of providing policy recommendations so that, that, uh, uh, that will affect the Asian American community. Basically, our mission is to advance civic voice and quality of life of Asian Americans. We support community, community organizations who are in the front line serving the populations. Independent organizations within the Asian American community don't have the capacity to broker relationships with big uh, foundations or even individual donors. And so that's what AFNI does. It's sort of a path breaker. So I don't have to spend time wasting thinking about things I'm not good at. I will focus on what I'm good at, and they help me focus what funding need to focus at, making sure the impact I measure, technical system provided, and, uh, and, and even helping us to be aware of issues that we may not be aware of because we're too closely looking at the trees, sometimes we don't see the forest. If they help us see the forest, I'm sure the tree will grow much better. The Charles B. Wan Community Health Center saw about 160,000 patient visits last year. We serve the Asian American community in New York City. Our mission is to provide affordable, high quality care to uh, primarily Asian American immigrants in New York City who can't access health services because of language, financial or cultural barriers. We started with very little storefront walk-in services, and over the years we progressed to from cradle to the grave. We, we do what there was needed. The Korean Community Services of Metropolitan New York are currently serving six different program sites in their service area, immigration, aging, public health, job training, and our family news. South Asian Youth Action was founded 10 years ago. We serve uh, new immigrant youth to New York City who are low income. They tend to be the children of cab drivers, domestic workers, newsstand workers. And they can walk into this space and for the first time in their lives, they don't have to explain who they are. The whole is greater than the sum of the parts. I think that's important to see. And Federation type of work has really helped to bring that out in the sense that if you can put the total together, we can multiply a lot more than, than we seem to be doing. AFNI, through its 39 member organizations, gives companies like Ernst & Young an opportunity to match Ernst & Young's employees with needs that these member organizations have. Um, ways to give back to the community, ways to network, uh, ways to, to just get more, more satisfaction out of their day-to-day -day lives. Um, and AFNI makes that happen. So AFNI is truly a catalyst. I do not give back to the community. I invest in my community. Um, I think we have, in the past three to five years, received a message very clearly that we have to help ourselves. Asian Americans have a very long and proud tradition in philanthropy. And Asian Americans are providing leadership in philanthropy. And I think that's an important message that has to be sent to the rest of America. And that's something that the Asian American Federation has done. And, and I think that alone makes it very, very noble and a very, very important organization.